Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for a little Darkest Dungeon modding update. Yes, my system clock down in the bottom right hand corner here is correct. I haven't set it to any other time zone or anything. It's four in the morning, which means I'm wide awake and fully in control of my capabilities. Oh joy. Anyway, once upon a time I released the Darkest, uh, well the Twilight Night for Darkest Dungeon and everything was good all apart from this one skill leap of faith it was a little underwhelming it didn't feel quite right you know and back in the day when a lovely chap called kill them all was doing all the art or chap s actually i'm not entirely sure was doing the artwork they kind of left this one unfinished and we had this possible visual effects sort of out where she would leap up in the air and then slam the sword down hard as she landed. And that always felt wrong, you know, that felt like it could be better. And it's always been niggling away at me and I've wanted to get that improved and updated. And it's just been something that's been put on the back burner while I was working on the librarian and the Senua mod until now. Now the skill will have a new animation. So I will be updating. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Oh man, that's great. <laughs> I will be updating the Twilight Night mod for Darkest Dungeon. She hasn't been updated in a very long time. In fact, I think the last time she was updated was before the Crimson Court came out. So, unfortunately, her stress management skills are completely overpowered. They are based on old values before the great hero stress skill nerf of 2019. Actually, it might have been 2018, I'm not entirely sure which, but yeah. A while ago, because things like killing an enemy, removing free stress, and various things that could be done with districts and stuff, um which were added into the game. Before that, hero stress removal skills removed more stress. And I honestly haven't revised her stress skill values, so they need to be reduced a little. That being said, I'm going to be doing a lot of other things. Uh, fairly subtle small changes overall. This visual change to Leap of Faith is probably the largest change. Uh, let me see. So I will be reducing stress values across the board. Currently, I've tweaked Glimmer of Hope so that it removes stealth from the Twilight Knight if she has managed to gain it from any way. For example, if Senua gives stealth to her allies and then the Twilight Light holds up her lantern and illuminates herself, it does not make a lot of sense for her to still have stealth. So it will remove stealth from her. It might remove stealth from all enemies as well. I can't remember if I've added that in yet. Um, Leap of Faith, major visual overhaul. It, the, this hasn't currently been recolored for skins B, C and D. This only works with the A skin at the moment. Uh, now, if you've looked closely out of visual effects for characters. You'll notice that like uh, Dismas, the face of Dismas is always superimposed over a highwayman when he performs his tracking shot regardless of what skin he's actually using. And that's because you can only have one version of a visual effect per skill. So essentially while she's airborne she will take on a sort of proto-archetypical stereotypical Twilight Knight look and then when she slams down to the ground here this is where I can recolor her to match whatever skin is currently being used. The B, C and D skins haven't been recolored for this yet so currently this works only for the A skin. Again apologies for yawning it's like five past four in the morning what do you expect? Um, I'll also possibly be rebalancing her trinkets and lots of small tweaks to skills. I'm thinking Slaver Beast should quite possibly bypass guard because it's all a, that that skill is all about taking down a single target hard and fast, or as a big finisher skill to do that. 
I'm not sure exactly what changes I'm going to make, but they'll be mostly along the lines of small balance tweaks. But I'm also planning on a nice bit of a visual overhaul eventually, you know, get her trinket art redone because good grief it really needs it. And um, possibly completely redo her combat walk and idle stances so that they no longer need to use the leper skeleton anymore. Which would of course mess with all those unofficial skins that were created without my permission. Which is totally fine by me. Right, well, um, chances are that the things coming in this update will be staggered over time and the New Leap of Faith animation would be one of the first things going in. Uh, probably start uploading small mini patches sometime soon and you know stagger stuff out over a series of updates. But I hope you all like this news and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye for now everyone. Take care of yourselves.